insurance claim. Just knowing the difference between polyurethane and lace, knowing the difference between Swiss lace and French lace. When you're designing these hair pieces, this is your base material ring, which I have over there also. It goes with the textbook. This base material ring is what makes you your money. If you understand these base materials, I'm teaching you now, you in the class. If you understand these base material rings, then you can design the wig or the prosthesis or the lace piece. Are you gonna design the lace piece with the lace front? Are she gonna have monofilament back? If there's a hair loss and uh, she can't have lace, are you gonna put PU on it? You have to understand these base materials. So when you making that hair piece, it's just like having this outfit made. I picked the buttons, I picked the material, I picked the lining, I picked the color, I picked the texture. Same, it's all the same. But you have to understand it. So your base material is your meat. You know, we, we're doing uh, YouTube University, and they're making money, making more money than you guys, without a license. And we're listening, and we're copying it. Instead of investing and knowing and setting yourself apart, not everybody, but some, everybody know who they are, but some. Just knowing your base materials, your foundation, if your dream at night, if your clients, if you have a passion and you learn your base materials and what their uh, actions for them, what, they, what they're used for, you'll dream at night, you'll create. You can think about, oh, Ms. Jones, oh God, I knew I can do that little circle on the side of her head. Now I know what base to put on there or what design to put there. Not cover her whole head, for that little area and smother it and bacteria, all of that, you have to take into account. But if you understand your base materials and your options, then you can create the right base for her. Like the one base here, this alteration base I designed in 1996 for women of color. But because back then they had nothing for us. We were working hard with the bases, with the hair, processing the hair, making black, black people hair. We had to do that, today you don't. Every hair is available to you. But is it Brazilian hair? Is it Malaysian hair? For real, is it? In the book I explain that. You have to know the process of the hair, why? Even if you're selling hair, you have a hair store, you're a weaver, hair replacement specialist, hair loss specialist, no matter what, that text is going to help you because every category is in there. This is going to take the place of the hair weave. You can transition option from hair weave to hair replacement, do it three or four clients a week, or you can add it to your business. Instead of just stitching, uh, doing the hair weave, doing your track, whatever method that is, I forgot the PowerPoint, I'm just going to go. Whatever method that is, if you had this cap, and a cap that's going to last forever, polyester cables, I mean, polyester cables, they're not going to break. When you put that hair on there, stitch it on whatever method you have, you can put hair on it, take hair off it forever, add a silk top, cut the top off. It's like whatever, universal, this one cap, made especially for you. Now, if you want to go into hair replacement, then you have it ventilated in. What's the difference in a wig and a process? Wig is made for people with hair. A prosthesis is a missing part. It's made for people without hair. The difference is the, these base materials right here. But if you don't have any hair, all that is itchy on your scalp. But if you have a cushion, you have hair, anything can go on your head. There's a cushion there. But you smother in there, and you're not going to have any hair. You guys understand what I'm saying? Does it make sense? OK, so that's just one of my two, base material. Then the second. I want him to understand this because when he designing this hair piece for this guy, in his head, he had to figure out what base material he's going to use as he do that mold, before he do that mold. In his consultation, he's already talked to the guy, and he's decided he's going to do an all-lace piece because his hair is cut very, very, very short. So you can't have no line of demarcation. So to get a flesh to the skin, we're going to either do all-lace or we're going to do all-polyurethane. Now, I'm just giving you guys some little tips. Can you imagine I have a textbook, 300 some pages, to make sure that no matter what situation you're in, no matter where you are in this business or where you want to go, it's like your Bible is there. You can always run to it and get help. 
The next one. This is a density chart, which is important because when you're designing the hair process, the hair piece or the wig or the man's system or unit, how thick is we gonna make it? Her thick is not my thick. Oh, I want a medium thick. What is medium thick? So you need to understand by the millimeters of the thickness. So when you go by these charts, you, it's universal all over the world. How many times have you ordered some hair for a client and she wanted curly hair, you ordered curly hair, she said, oh, it's too curly, oh, it's not curly enough, right? That happens, right? But one millimeter, two ten, is two all over the world. It's gonna be two to Jesus come. So you're talking the same language and there's no mistakes here. It's very seldom you're gonna make one. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna make any mistakes, but it's very, you shouldn't. And sometimes it happens to the best of us and when you make these mistakes in this business, you will go to court. You will have a lawsuit. That lady just gave you three thousand dollars, or her insurance just gave you eight thousand dollars. So you will have a lawsuit. But if you have it together and have everything that you need, you want you have to worry about that lawsuit. I've been to court many times. Have you been to court? I've been to court, but I, had, I didn't lose. I didn't lose because I had it together. I had my business straight. So here's a curl pattern ring. We have all of those. So when you're doing your consultation, I don't care what hair you sell, it doesn't matter. The curl is the same as far as millimeters. The circles is the same. It doesn't matter what hair you use it or buy it or sell it. It doesn't matter. It works for everybody. Density works for everybody. Everything in my hand is universal. The colors. Now that's not universal because every factory colors are different. And when you're doing a, a, a design for a male or a female, you have to understand what colors they want. Back in the day, we did our own hand tied webs. When well, we wanted to mix three or four colors of hair together, I have it over there. When we sit there, or I had people doing it sitting there, wefting the hair, as well as doing the machine, but we did our own hand tie before hand tie came out. That's how old I am, how long I've been in this business, okay? We sit there and did our own hand tie. I did a four, 27, a 30, and a 613. Those four colors are my color. And we sit there and alternate those little strands of hair. But if you want to like to make wigs and do all that stuff, some people that's your gift or sit there and do it. You can do that. And then you can mix what you want. You can mix the textures that you want. You don't have to get the stock. And another thing I want to mention besides this is in this business, you have your stock, you have your pre-designed, you have your custom. And I hear it all the time. This is a custom. I'm ordering her a custom. I did a custom, I bought a custom. You didn't do a custom if you just ordered it and picked the color in the middle right. or the right. size. That is not a custom. That is a pre-design. A stock is something that you just go in the store and buy. It's already done, it's right there. And you bought it off the shelf, that's a stock. A pre-design is when you order it and you just pick the color, the length, the texture, and the size. A custom is what we're getting ready to do. A custom is when you choose from all of these different materials and you design and you have it made. That's the difference. When that lady come in there and you do a consultation with her, she totally see the difference between going down here and over here and what's going on with her. She know that you know what you're doing. This right here, I said, is a base a material ready. And then the other one is so important. Which one I didn't do? I think I did them all. The base, I showed you the base material. These are all your bases, all your foundations. Now, we've done our consultation. We're going to use this male. But no matter what, if you're doing a little girl, a little boy, or a grown woman, it does not matter. The difference is their hairline. And another thing, you can watch all you want to on YouTube University. They're not designing the hairline. Everybody's hairline is round or square or God can give you that type of hairline. Your hairline do all kind of things. So it's not looking natural. Or your hairline starting in a certain area. Not down by your eyebrow. And a lot of you put the hairline way down by the eyebrow. Or the male is something way back there. And even if they like that tight razor cut that they do, you still can do it in his hairline and just sharpen his hairline. Now he, I'm going to have him actually do a mold. I'm just going to dive you right to the veggie. This is probably uh, saran wrap. Using, now, uh, in the office, son, uh, you want to go to the um, grocery store.
restaurants supply you by the big box of saran wrap because it's wider and it fits over people's heads. So there's different types of mold. But I'm going to have him do a tank mold. That's what you guys are going to get. How many want to invest and make your lives better? I'm serious. How many want to go to the next level? How many want to take that gift that God gave them their ministry and really use it? Like the lady was up here before me, oh my God, I was over to jump, jumping all around. Because I've been where she is in some areas of her life. As far as what she was talking about and what we have to do, we got to come back, y'all, to, to the foundation and just doing it. Use our gifts and not worry about the dollars, because I promise you're going to make the money. There's no way you're going to make the money. You're going to make the money. But don't take people money. Don't rob people. That's what's going on today. People are getting robbed. Because nobody's qualified, they're not doing what they should be doing, they're not giving what they said they were going to give them because they don't have that foundation. And I don't care where you are. You don't have to be a prostitute designer. You don't have to have a hair replacement center. Everybody's a different hair. You just might just need color. The city can still use all of this in your color, in your business. It's still all business. Okay, so we're going to take the saran wrap. Reggie, you know, let's just do it again. Okay, I'm going to pull, pull the chair over.